Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Shauna Verstegen. Thank you for joining me for this 30-minute advanced, like, not easy, but really challenging, Tabata workout. What you're going to need today, definitely a water bottle, your TRX suspension trainer anchored properly, and a mat, because we're going to be doing a lot of ground-based work today. So I want you to think of Tabata in the sense of timing today. So we're not going to be smashing your VO2 max every single time we do this. What a Tabata timing is, is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest, and you go through that eight times. Some of our five rounds will be alternating two different exercises. Some will just be doing one exercise and kind of building on that exercise. I am not going to play music for you today. However, I really recommend Tabata songs by Coach. I don't get any money from them. That's just what I like to play when I do my Tabata workouts. We'll start with the short, short warm-up, and then we'll do five to bottom rounds, a couple stretches, and then you're on with your day. As always, we can always check back some of these exercises if they are not for you. I'll give you lots of options. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? We're going to start with our TRX standing rollout. My straps will be at mid-length. This is just our warm-up. Nice, strong, active plank on the balls of your feet, shoulders away from your ears, squeezing those buns. Roll your arms out just a bit, and then stop just before the straps hit your arms. Notice how my body stays in a nice straight line the entire time. My quads are tight, and I'm not bringing my arms out all the way above my head like Superman. I'm just moving them out a little bit so I feel that core brace and returning. We are always using your core with the T-Rex suspension trainer, but with these exercises today, especially three, two and one squat row combo turn around facing your anchor I'm gonna have you lean back drop your bucket down as low as you safely can stand up find your plank row big squeeze behind your shoulder blades if you've done my workouts with me before you know that we do just about the same warm-up every single time why because it's a good one <laughs> we're gaining mobility where you need to be mobile for your movements we're gaining stability where you need to be strong and stable for the exercises as well Right now we're working on mobility of your hips, your knees, your ankles, working on body alignment, shoulders away from your ears. Three, two, and one. Forward lunge with Y fly. Turn it around facing away from the anchor. Those straps are still going to be at mid length. Nice, strong, active plank. I'm gonna take a big step forward with my right foot, bend the left knee down, get a big stretch, pressing my hands into the handles, push down, find that plank, come back up and switch other side. I'm focusing on stretching my hip flexors and through my chest, and then I come up and find that nice, strong core brace, like I'm slamming the hood of a car after an oil change. I just went for a car trip with my dad, an eight-hour car trip to and from Ohio last weekend. Every gas station, did you check your oil? Did you check your oil? I don't think people do that anymore, do they? That's what they do when I take it in for its oil change. Three, two, and one. T-Rex single leg hip hinge. Turn around, stand facing the anchor. Walk it back, arm straight out in front of you. Plant that right foot, extend the left heel behind you. You're pressing down into those handles. Get a nice stretch to the hamstrings of your right leg. I love this one because we're getting that hamstring stretch. We're focusing on balance. We're working on alignment. You're further engaging your core. Three, Two and one, switch feet, keep going, press down and hinge. Slightly soften that left front knee. Pinky toe of your right foot should be pointed toward the ground. Collarbones pulled apart in front. Nice, strong, active core. So you don't really know what's coming. I do. So you know how you have that little like tickle in your tummy of nerves before a really hard workout? If you don't have that, you should. <laughs> This is a mean one. Give me some nice, awesome lateral lunges. Feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Toes pointed directly forward. Bend your right knee. Pull yourself up and bend the left knee. Pull yourself up side to side. As low as you can safely go, sinking back into the heel. Feel that stretch in your inner thigh. This one's going to come in handy. We're doing those T-Rex abducted lunges today, making them pretty crazy challenging. So this is a good one to get ready for that. Three, two, 
and one. All right, like I said, we've got five Tabata rounds. You only have a minute break between each round. If you feel like you need some more, the cool thing is you can pause the video, stop, drink your water, practice the exercise, come back. I will never know unless you tell me. All right, so let's get set up for that first Tabata round. We're going to have your straps at mid-calf length, and that's where they're going to stay for this entire workout. Whew, I like it when I don't have to change that strap length. You'll want to pull your mat into place. We're going to start with our TRX body saw. So we'll get your toes into those foot cradles and we'll be ground facing away from the anchor point. To make these a little bit easier, which you'll see me do, is I'm gonna go back behind the anchor. I'm on my forearms, my body's in a nice straight line and I'm gonna push my heels back and return. Notice how I'm not rocking forward over my arms. I'm just pushing back a little bit and returning. So you wanna think of it kind of like an overhead press. My forearms are here and I'm pushing up and coming back to neutral right here. It's not uh -uh -uh. it's here, press, return. If you feel your low back, move back a little further or just hold a regular plank. The second exercise is bonkers. This is called a plank press. I'm going to do this with a body saw lead in for a little bit of momentum. You can just do it from stationary if you can. So. Pressing my heels back, I come up on both hands, and then lower down nice and controlled. So again, things you can do to make that easier, you can move back behind the anchor point, or you can lead in with a little bit of a body saw to get started. I'm already tired and we haven't gone yet. Let's get those toes in, ground facing away, in position for the TRX body saw. Are you ready, guys? Luckily, it's only 20 seconds of work. Bad news is you only get 10 seconds of rest. Body saw, here we go. Drive those heels back, squeezing your buns. Notice how I'm pulling my toes toward my shins. My shoulders are away from my ears. My gaze is out ahead of my fingertips. Not only am I pushing away, but I'm also trying to push my arms apart to create stability through my shoulder girdle. All right, 10 seconds recovery. Then I'm gonna move into those plank presses. Please don't let your back arch. That will hurt. Going in three, two, and one. Strong active plank. I'm gonna add a little saw into it. Press up, slowly lower down. Oh my gosh, we have eight rounds of this, huh? Plank up, slowly lower down. Keeping that body straight and strong. Three, two, and one. Woo! Little break here. That was two of eight. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be just epic. Going in three, two, and one. Super strong plank. Press those heels back and return. Are your shoulders away from your ears? Are your toes pulled toward your shins? Are you squeezing those butt cheeks nice and tight? Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're back, back to plank presses. At any point, if this is too much, just hold a standard plank. All right, here we go. Strong plank, press it up, and down controlled. All right, keep going, everybody. You still have 14 seconds left. TRX plank presses. You're pressing, bracing, pushing up, slowly lowering back down. Three, two, and one. Good news, we are halfway there, everybody. Set those knees down, take a little rest break, then we're gonna get back into your body saws. In two, one, let's go. Pushing the floor away from you. Again, it's only about, if I'm on the floor, only about two inches of pressing. My ears, shoulders, hips, and ankles are in alignment, and then I'm pulling myself back to that starting position. So I'm really only moving my feet back just a little bit. And if you need to make this easier, keep checking it back. All right, let's get ready for those plank presses again. Whew, we're almost there. Only three rounds left. Nice, strong, active plank. Again, you can add that body saw first if you'd like. And then pushing in, bracing, pulling my toes towards my shins. Eyes are out ahead of those hands. Body straight and strong. Three, two, and one. All right, we've got one more of each. How are you doing? Enjoy that rest break. One more set of body saw. One more set of plank press, and we'll flip it over. All right, body saw. Here it is, nice, strong, active plank. Only 20 seconds. Squeeze those bum tight. 
you've got that piece of coal between your butt cheeks, you want to turn it into a beautiful diamond by the end of this set. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! 20 more, sorry, 10 seconds. I'm gonna do 20 more seconds of those plank presses. And then in my mind, the worst one will be done. All right, here we go. Plank press, Hup. down controlled. Keep going, everybody, finish this strong. You've got 10 seconds left of our first round of Tabata. Strong plank, press it down, drive it up, down controlled. Three, two, and one. All right, you survived your first and most likely the worst Tabata round of the day. We're gonna flip it over, do your hamstring curl to hip press, and then your T-Rex hamstring curl and bicycle. Straps stay at mid-calf length. To make sure you're at mid-calf length, make sure those foot cradles are dangling just above your toes. We're going to pop your heels into the foot cradles, head and shoulders on the ground. You'll do your hamstring curl first, then push down, lift your bum up, straight line, knees, hips, shoulders, lower down, and extend. Then the bicycle, you'll push your bum down, lift up, pull one knee in at a time. You wanna make sure you have equal downward pressure in both foot cradles. If you don't, you'll feel the straps go seesaw, seesaw. So you wanna push down as you drag that heel in. So we're gonna alternate hamstring curl to hip press, hamstring bicycle. These build really, really intense. Going in 10 seconds, go ahead and lay on the ground, pull your toes back towards your shins, feet or even palms up toward the ceiling. Lift the hips, three, two, and one. Here we go, hamstring curl to hip press. Whew. After those body saws and plank presses, I feel like everything else today is going to feel like a piece of cake. That's not true but relatively, it'll feel like that for a little bit. Toes are back, press down, drive it up. 10 seconds, rest your bum down. Then we're gonna move into that hamstring bicycle. Remember, one leg at a time, but push down as you drag it in. Toes pulled back towards your shins, here we go. One knee in, and then the other. I'm really pushing down to lift my hips up. I'm also driving the backs of my arms into the floor and keeping my eyes up toward the ceiling, not lifting my head and straining my neck. <sighs> Feel how these are gonna build? <laughs> Hamstrings are so important. They help stabilize your knees. You use them for running, for jumping. And we tend to be a lot stronger on the front side than the back side. So this helps equal us out a little bit too. All right, hamstring curl to hip press. Lower down and extend. Bend, drive those hips way up. If this is too much, you can just do those regular hamstring curls as well. If you really need to, you can even set your bum down. If you're like, why did I sign up for an advanced workout? You can set your bum down and do the same thing with that bum down. All right, 10 seconds off. We'll go back into those hamstring bicycles. <sighs> what did we sign ourselves up for? Here we go, one knee at a time, pulling those toes back towards your shins. <sighs> Push down, drag it in. Hips are up, hamstrings are screaming. It's really important to keep your toes back towards your shins. That'll help your, keep your calves from cramping. All right, we're halfway done. Set your bum down. Shake those legs out for a moment, moving back into the hamstring curl to hip press. Going in five, head and shoulders down, toes back. Push down to lift, here we go. Hamstring curl, hip press, lower down, extend. If you find that this is too easy, A, you are awesome. B, you can move back behind the anchor point a little bit more. If you're struggling a bit, you can actually scooch forward as long as you don't have a door in your way. The further forward you are, the easier this one is as well. Oh, okay. Little breather here, 10 seconds. We're gonna move back into that hamstring bicycle. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys, hamstring bicycle. Here we go, push down, drag it in. And again, I feel like I, I'm a bit more motivated when I listen to those Tabata songs with Coach. And he's actually like, five, four, Three, two, one, probably a little more motivating than I am. However, if you have that blasting, you can't hear my cues. All right, whew. take a little breather here. One more of each. Go, go, gadget hamstrings. You've got this. All right, whew. and whoop. 
hamstring curl, hip press, lower down. Remember, it's only 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. And you get to control your pace. You can go a little slower if you'd like. We've got five, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. All right. Hamstring bicycles, last one of Tabata number two. You've got this. Going in. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Pull one leg in and the other, pushing down to lift up. Four minutes of hamstring work. My goodness, that's a lot. All right. Almost there, head and shoulders down. Push down, drag in, two and one. Oh my goodness, grab a sip of water. I'm gonna set you up for our next series. This is our abducted lunge series here. So your straps will stay at mid-calf length, so same height that it's at. You're going to grab both handles with one hand and place that same side foot into those foot cradles. I'm going to move out away from the anchor point a little bit. The four different options you're going to see as we go. Regular abducted lunge. Notice how I'm just going down and up. Right? Then the next one will add a little kick to that. So I'm going to lower down. My suspended leg will swing forward. Takes control in the knee. If that's too much on your knee, do not add that kick. Then I'm going to add some rotation with my upper body. I'll lower down, rotate, and return. My knee still tracks forward. Finally, we'll give you the option of adding a jump. Notice how I'm tucking in my suspended leg as I go. Oh my gosh. And of course, we're going to switch sides every single time. So guys, if you're not already there, both handles. Place that inside foot through both foot cradles. Ground the heel. Here we go, round one, regular TRX abducted lunges. We'll do this on both sides. Notice how I'm an elevator, not an escalator. So I'm going straight down and up. Try to avoid the temptation to just take a bow. We want to be mobile at our knees, not just the hips. All right, 10 seconds, turn it around really quick. Popping that other toe in. Other toes pointed directly forward, chest is up. Here we go, straight down, straight up. Lowering down. Now my knee again is tracking directly over those middle toes. I'm pressing down with that inside foot. My chest is up tall. I'm working on my range of motion and I'm using that inside leg so you'll feel those inner thighs working. All right, 10 seconds, switch it up again. We're gonna add that little kick to it. All right, this is tricky. <laughs> so again, if you feel too much pull on your knee, just do those regular abducted lunges. I'm gonna lower down, press into the foot cradle, swinging that leg through. Notice how you have to have a lot of control on this planted hip when you add that swing. And remember, I'm bending my acting knee. I'm not just taking a bow. I've got mobility in my hip, knee, and that ankle. All right, turn it around, other side. Gonna do some kicking over here. I'm trying to go a little more sideways so you don't totally have to look at my bum every time I turn around. You ready? Keep that foot grounded, lower down, swing it through. Now, if you have some mirrors you can look at, check to watch your grounded knee. Right now I'm looking straight ahead and I see my grounded knee is trying to wobble a little bit. So I really wanna find stability, really drive my heel down to stay nice and braced as I do this. All right, we're gonna add some rotation now. That lower body is now gonna stay stable other than your lunge, upper body will rotate. Here we go. Straight down, knee tr tracks forward, come right back up. So my knee is tracking forward as I sink down, I rotate, come back up. I'm putting a lot of downward pressure on that inside leg. Now, I don't have as much mobility in my hips as I'd love. Some of you might be able to go even lower. Let's switch sides. You'll notice you only have 10 seconds to switch sides, which sneakily took away our rest break. All right, you ready, guys? All right, I'm gonna lower down. Rotate, hey, how's it going? And bring it back up. I'm pressing down to those foot cradles, making sure my grounded leg, that knee stays straight ahead. I'm really pressing through my heel to keep my hip engaged. I'm pressing through this suspended leg to keep my hips square. Oh no, now we gotta jump. Here's our last two. Jumping is always optional. Be careful with this one because there's some lateral pull on your knee. Here we go, I'm gonna lower down, 
Bend that suspended leg in. Careful the landing. I absorb. Drive up and back down. Soft landing, pressing into the heel. Again, if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm checking my form in the mirror. Three, two, one. One more in this crazy one. All right. Popping that other toe in. Are you ready? Here we go. Bend down, my suspended knee comes in and tucks. I'm careful of my landing, making sure the knee is still staying tracking over the middle toes. I'm not going high. I'm just doing a little hop. Still using that inside leg for stability. Three, two, one. Let's move it on, guys. We're going back down to the ground. One of my favorites. Little Pilates based training here. We're going to do our candlestick or shoulder stand to V-sit is our first one. So I'm going to have you line up so that your sternum is directly beneath the anchor point. If you're on a door, I'll have you turn around so your head is pretty much right up near the door. Okay, hands are in the foot cradles. And I'm going to begin in my candlestick position, pressing down. Then I roll and try to balance on my bum, actively pushing on the foot cradles for stability. The second set, you'll press your head and shoulders and lower back into the floor and just lower one heel at a time, not letting your back lift up. Okay. If the candlestick V-sit is too crazy, you can just do sets of those leg lowering because they look easy, but they're actually really challenging. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> Let's go to that candlestick shoulder stand first. Roll it up, press down, and then up to your V-sit. Find that balance, pressing into those foot cradles. I'm spreading my fingers wide. I'm sticking the landing and I'm pushing down on the foot cradles to really help with posture here. I'm pushing down to lengthen my spine. It's giving me a little bit of balance. All right, little rest here. And then we're going to get ready for those leg lowerings. Extend the legs up, push down on the foot cradles, hide your ribs, keep your lower back down to the floor, and lower one heel at a time, not letting your back come up off the floor. I'm actively driving down in those foot cradles. Shoulders down and back. <sighs> it's harder than it looks, isn't it? If your back's popping up off the floor, you, my friend, are totally cheating. All right, getting ready for those candlesticks again. Into your V-sits. Find your breath for a moment, going in three, two, and one. Shoulder stand, balance in that V-sit. Now, I'm a gymnast, so if I were watching you right now, I would make sure your toes are pointed and legs are together and straight. That actually also just helps keep your body nice and tight as well. All the way up, stick it, and take a break. We're going back into those straight leg raises again. Pressing those hands into position, press your lower back into the floor, extend those legs. Active pressure downward, one heel lowers at a time. Again, so many people when they see this, they're like, why would this be an advanced workout? But if you're experiencing this correctly with me right now, it is really strengthening from the inside out. All of those deeper abdominal muscles are working really hard to keep your back down. All right, we're halfway there. Oh my goodness, all right, let's get ready for those candlesticks again. <sighs> Little breath, and up to that shoulder stand. Here we go. Hup. And the V-sit, nice and strong. If you want to stop in that V-sit for a second, find your balance, find your stability, find your posture, feel free. You're still engaging your core in that position. <laughs> All right, time. We've got those straight leg raises again. Challenge if you'd like it. You can do a double leg raise. Just make sure your lower back doesn't lift up. I'm gonna stick with the single leg one, so I'm actively pressing down, one leg down at a time, hiding my ribs, keeping my back pressed down toward the floor. Also, don't forget active tension in those foot cradles. See how I'm spreading my fingers wide to help disperse that tension? My shoulders are pulled down and back. <sighs> okay, we've got one more of each of these guys, and then only one more Tabata after this. We're almost there. All right. We're going to go back up to that shoulder stand, push down, lift it up, hup, 
and to the V-sit. Hit it. Shoulder stand, press hard. V-sit, drive down. Stick it. You should film yourself doing these sometime and tag me in it so I can see your form because I love these. All right, straight leg raises. This is it for this round of Tabata. Pressing down. Press your back down. Remember that double leg option. Here we go. Make this your best one yet. Lower down. Hide the ribs. Squeeze and brace. Active downward pressure into those foot cradles. Three, two, and one. One more exercise. We cannot do an advanced workout without doing the TRX burpee. Tricky part is we got to switch those feet in 10 seconds between each round. <laughs> so TRX burpee, one foot in suspension. Option one, you can just step down and step right back up. But you're advanced, right? So I'm going to have you plank down. Show me an awesome push-up. Bring that foot in and drive it. Notice how I got my foot in there? To be really quick about it, I grab both handles, the rubber parts with my right hand. We're going in 30, so start getting ready. I'm gonna bend my left knee, pop my left toe through both foot cradles, and then I'm in my position. Guys, when you're coming down to the ground, really fight for a nice, straight, strong plank so those hips aren't sagging, because that's a lot of pressure on your spine if you're arching in and out of every single rep. Let's find this standing, starting position. Nice and straight and tall. Get ready, we're going in five, three, two, grand finale, last Tabata today. TRX burpees, strong plank, stick it, push up if you wish, bit of a jump, bam. Every single rep is one set of one. The best one you've done today. <sighs> Think about every landing, <sighs> time, switch it up. You only have 10 seconds. Both handles in your left hand. Pop your right toe in. Get ready, gang. Here we go. Strong plank. Beautiful push-up. Dive it in. Drive it up. Segment this. Think about every segment. A lunge, a plank, a press, a lunge. Exploding off the floor. Two, one. Switch feet. Both handles in your right hand. Pop your left toe in. Get ready. Two, one. Here we go. The end of our workout is near, guys. Three minutes left today. A little stretch, and then we're outie. Strong planks. Are those shoulders staying away from your ears? Are your knees still tracking forward when you lunge? Switch it up. Both handles in your left hand. Pop your right foot in those foot cradles. Oh boy, find your balance. Hit it. Heart rate's going up. Hang with me. Every rep, Instagram ready. That camera's on you. Slow it down if you need to. Modify if you need to, but do dig deep. All right, halfway there. Switch it up. Both handles in your right hand. Pop that left toe in. Here we go. Sticking every plank. Bending from your elbows for the push-up. Not your hips. Eyes out ahead of your hands. Three, two, and one. We're almost there, guys. Both handles in your left hand. Pop that right toe in. Get ready. Let's hit it. Strong plank. And drive. Sticking it. Remember that jump is optional. Even that push-up is optional. Think of get down, get back up with style. Switch it up. One more time each side. Both handles, right hand. Pop that left toe in, get ready. Start with proper form. 
Here we go. <laughs> Any movement that doesn't start well is not going to go well. <sighs> Almost there, team. Last time on this side. All right, one more side. Both handles, left hand. Make this your best. Final 20 seconds of burpees. Here we go. Hit it. Can you go a little higher? Focus on that landing. Can you squeeze a little tighter? Three, two, one. Oh, we did it. Give me a high five. Find your air. And do a couple stretches and get you out of here today. We're going to start with that TRX Cossack stretch. Shorten your straps up to mid length. Stand facing the anchor point. I'm gonna have you get those feet nice and wide, toes pointed directly forward. You'll bend your right knee, point your left toe up toward the ceiling. Now you don't have to go as low as I'm going, but this is an option. Pull yourself up, feel those muscles we used with those abducted lunges. And you can use those straps to pull yourself up side to side. Guys, that was a really tough workout, and we're only stretching for just a few seconds, so I really encourage you to spend at least five or 10 minutes stretching. I've got several cool downs, there are guns, um, stretches loaded on this channel, so feel free to take a moment and spend a little more time with this. Standing chest stretch. Hands on the handle, stand facing away from the anchor. Step one foot in front, press those arms apart. Not leaning, just pressing and breathing. Go ahead, I'll come closer to you so I can see you. Hi. Drop your right arm down, reach your left arm open. Oh, big inhales and exhales. Drop your left arm down, reach the right arm over the top, and bring it back. So wrapping it up, Tabatas are tough. Tabata, even just Tabata timing is tough. I hope you maintain proper form. I hope you kept that neutral spine. Your back should not be hurting right now. And I do hope you try this workout again, especially if it discourages you a little bit. Remember, there's always ways to check back these exercises. And the cool thing is building up over time and finding that next challenging level over time. Thank you so much for joining me. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again soon. Nice work, everybody.